Good morning, guys. So, this morning I'm a little bit more, this morning I'm a little bit done up, more done up than usual, just because we had guests over um, last night and I felt like wearing eyeliner again today. So, as you guys saw, I've been digging a larger breakfast lately. Um, just this week, I've been like, I don't know. I just feel like having more food in the morning. So I'm just kind of going with my body's instinct and I'm doing that. I usually skip lunch. Um, I'll have like coffee for lunch. And then for dinner, I'll have something healthy and yummy. Like last night we did, um, we had guests over, we had family over and we did like tilapia and diced potatoes and roasted veggies. And then like an arugula salad. So something very healthy still, but super yummy. Um, anyway, so that's what I've been doing. And my points, a lot of you guys were asking on my what I eat in a day. My points are at 30, 32 a day. I try to keep it under 30. So um, as you guys saw here on my plate, I'm not gonna eat all of this. My stomach, or my eyes are always bigger than my stomach, but um, I have about three eggs here. It's like two and a half eggs because the kids eat quite a large portion of eggs themselves. I cook six eggs in the morning. So it could even be closer to like two-ish. I try to give us equal portions, but anyway, so eggs, cheese, I've got cottage cheese, salsa, and then some diced potatoes left over from last night in here just for like a morning scramble, um, like a healthy-ish morning scramble. I've been skipping on the bacon and the sausage lately just because I'm trying to cut my points wherever I can. Um, Anywho, all right. Oh, I'm so tired this morning, you guys. I woke up. I posted my Instagram this morning because, like, I woke up. I woke up and it was one of those mornings where I was like, I felt like something was wrong. I was having a high anxiety morning. I just like I fell off. Usually when that happens, I try to just like push through, and like I'll come downstairs. I'll make a good breakfast. Get some coffee. Coffee always always helps me get out of that funk if i wake up if i wake up on like the wrong side of the bed i just wake up in a funk coffee always helps <laughs> just because it wakes me up a little bit more makes me a little bit happy um oh my goodness i've got these like bangs under my eyes too i did not sleep very good last night i need to get like some ice cubes and put them under my puppy eyes but um anywho just wanted to send some encouragement out there and say you're not the only one that wakes up on the wrong side of the bed i do too I get into like funks and my anxiety feels high. I feel like I'm missing something or that I'm like gonna fail at something. Like I'll wake up feeling like that and I just have to like pull myself up by my underwear and be like, you know what? You need to stop sulking. You need to get out of that mood and get on with your day because there are better things to worry about. You know, I'm going to eat my breakfast. I'm going to record the points here and show you guys. Um, <laughs> I just fell asleep at the table. You guys, it is like, it is 8.50 in the morning, okay? This girl usually sleeps till like 9, 9.30. What am I gonna do with it? Look at this. Kaya. Good morning. You need to stay awake. <laughs> was eight points. Um, <laughs> Kaya is very tired as you guys saw. So um, now I need to finish doing my Costco list. If you guys have any Costco, like healthy Costco items, like suggested, leave them down below. I am going to take to my Instagram story right now too and ask you guys just because I need like, I just need some new ideas. I need some like new things. So any who's. Okay. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna chug some coffee so I can wake up a little bit, get the kids dressed, and then I'm gonna get Kaya over to daycare, and then I'm gonna go on my morning walk. All right, so I just need to pack Riker um, his snack here quick. He's starting to get fussy. Um, so I usually pack his snacks into like little, like little snack bags like this, or if I'm gonna give him some fruit, I like to use um, these little canisters and he will hold these so nicely in his throwaway He'll just hold it and like munch on fruit or whatever it is um, I suppose I could even use this for like soup and stuff when he gets older, but 
Um, anyways, these are um, from Blue Ellie. I know you guys are gonna ask me where they're from. They're from Blue Ellie. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. All right, so again, the containers that I'm using are from Blue Ellie. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. They're so cute. They've got like these little like designs on them. So adorable. And then, like I said, I will put pineapple as a favorite lately. So I've been putting lots of pineapple in this one. Um, and then I'll do like Lucky Charms or Veggie Straws in this guy. And this is just like a Velcro, um, like reusable snack pack. So it's that like cleanable like inside. It's super nice. Um, and this one is the like just like the boy print. I thought it was super cute. Just like it has like giraffes and snakes and like little leaves and stuff. Super cute. So what I'm going to do is pack just veggie straws this morning. He had a lot to eat for breakfast. Um, so I'm gonna skip the fruit this morning, but I am gonna stick some veggie straws in here. And then I also pack him a little, yeah, see, he already wants them. Um, and then I'm gonna pack him a little bit of water as well so that we're ready to go as soon as we get back. Whew, okay, so we just got back from um, our walk and I always go with my um, friend that lives over here in the neighborhood and um, she has a little boy right around Riker's age. Um, so we go, go together and then we let the boys kind of play for a little bit afterwards. So right now it's like 11.15. Riker was super crabby so I put him to bed by himself. Oh my gosh, it is hot outside. Wrong day to wear black. I'm not wearing any makeup besides my eyeliner which I might even take off here soon because it's just getting to be a little bit a little bit too much, but um, anywho, okay. I am going to go downstairs, grab my coffee that I left in the vehicle and did not finish. Actually, I think it's in the entryway. I'm gonna go grab my coffee, sit down, and work on some YouTube stuff. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I, like now time is my like get stuff done time. So I'm sorry, my face is like, super red from being outside, I'm gonna pull you closer. Okay, so, sorry, I'm always like in this spot because this is where I sit and I edit my videos. This is where I do everything. Riker's done for a nap, like I said. And I'm gonna go through with you guys just really quickly how I stay motivated. Um, like I said earlier, um, I posted on Instagram this morning because I just was like having one of those mornings. and. Having one of those mornings for me just, it literally just means like I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I'm gonna push through it, I'm gonna have a better day, like it's gonna be fine. All right, so I just quickly want to go over how I stay motivated when I wake up on the wrong side of the bed because you know what, we're all entitled to have those days, we're all gonna have those days. Like I said, I really think I'm getting my cycle soon because I was like super hungry a couple days ago and now I just like have been like Mer. like deep down I'm just kinda like, Ugh, everything's bothering me. But I know in reality, like everything is fine, right? If I tell myself everything is fine, for the most part, I feel better. I still am like mm, deep down, but you need to learn to push through that, right? So anyways, I just wanna show you like the raw, like real stuff, like behind the scenes on a day where I'm feeling just kinda meh. And I still did my normal routine because like routines and to-do lists and like kicking butt, that makes me feel so much better when I'm having a meh day. Um, and then like little treats. So like coffee this morning, that was like my little treat to myself and like gives me a little pick me up. Um, and then I'm having this um, sparkling ice drink for lunch. Um, I'm not having anything else for lunch today. Like I said, I usually have a really big breakfast. It's been like opposite of usual. Usually I like intermittent fast and I'll have like a really big dinner. Um, but I've been having a bigger breakfast, which I've grown to kind of like. Anyway, but um, I'm having a sparkling ice, um, strawberry citrus, plus caffeine, because mama needs to pick me up. Um, so I have little treats like that to just kind of like keep me going and to just, it just helps me, right? If I tell myself it's a treat, I feel better immediately. I'm like, oh, it's a treat for me. Anyway, so 
that is something that I will do to like keep myself going. Um, and then I will sit down and sometimes like the, I'm not going to lie to you guys, like m and rustics for me can be so overwhelming. Um, especially like when Mike is falling behind on his schedule or like when he has to work late because we just do m and on the side. So anyway, it just, it gets a little stressful for me when I have to reschedule things for him because his schedule hasn't been the best. Um, and he was gone all last week. So the way I push through that is I just I kill everything with kindness. Be a good human being because you're going to feel good about it in the end, right? So that's another tip for you is even if you're feeling like a sucky human being for the day, push through it. Just be a good human. Be nice and loving and kind to everybody because you know what? The people that you encounter throughout the day, I guarantee you at least a handful of those people are having a much worse day than you are. So suck it up and just push forward, which sounds like harsh and it sounds kind of bad, but it makes me feel better by being a nice person and being a better person. Even if I don't feel like being an overly happy person that day, ultimately at the end of the day, I feel better if I am a good person. So anyway, just a little like, pick me up there, but um, okay, so another thing I will do if I'm having an off day and how I stay motivated is I will come to my planner, I will go through and um, like for example, like when I have to um, reschedule or if I'm looking at scheduling people, um, I will go through and write everything down on my planner and we still need to take our days off even with m and Rustics, so then I schedule in our days off and then I'll go through, figure out what I have for Instagram that week, um, what I have for YouTube that week, um, what I need to do today, like what I need to um, get done off of my to-do list today. So for example, today I have got to do the dishes. Um, we made tilapia last night and I can totally smell the fish. Like, oh, it's just it's driving me bonkers. So that's on my to-do list today. But I will go through my to-do list and then I also have, I'm gonna show you guys here. I have a desktop calendar. All right, so I have a desktop calendar here too and this just lets me see everything um, like at a glance. Like I have this more so for like to-go cases or if I really need to get into detail. Um, but on this one, what I like to do is just kind of have a visual of the month. So I know what to expect on what days. So if I'm having an off day, I can say, okay, all I need to do today is do this, this, and this, and I'm good. So like today, for example, I, like, I don't even, I, I don't even want to like sit around and watch TV. Like I just feel off. Like I feel like, like honestly, I'm like, I just want to like pack up my bags and go on vacation. Like that's what I feel like. It's a very a strange feeling that I'm feeling today. So I'm just like, I go through this and then um, get my to-do list done for the day and then I'm like, you know what? What's gonna make me happy to do for the rest of the day? And I try to like gear it more towards work, right? I try to stay productive. I'm kind of a workaholic, but, um, but working and building my own brand also makes me feel very good, which is why I'm a workaholic. Um, so anyways. I'll get the things done that I have to get done and then I'll add some things onto my to-do list that will make me happy. So that's how I fix an off day, is just by sticking to a schedule, a routine, and adding in a few things here and there that make me happy, but still keep me on track and motivated. I find that my anxiety and my off days are much better when I control them in this fashion. And again, you guys, you are entitled to have bad off days, but Anyway, okay, kind of went off on a spiel there for you guys, but I know I'm not the only mama that feels this way. Um, whether you're a work from home mom, uh, working at the office mom, or you are a stay at home mom, I am, I've been all three. Um, technically I'm a stay at home mom, I guess you could say, but I also work from home. And I worked in the office for the past eight years of my life and did so, and Kaya's five now. So I've, I've been doing this for a while and I get it from all angles, so anyway. Leave it in the comments below. What do you do when you're having an off day and how do you stay motivated? How do you push through those bad anxiety days? Do you have bad anxiety days? Do you just have mama guilt days? Let me know in the comments below. Really hoping that some of those pieces of advice or even saying that yes, you feel it too could help so many other moms out there. Uh, just knowing you're not alone is the most incredible feeling. And you guys know, again, like I'm here, I'm raw, I'm real, and I'm here to make you feel like you are not alone. So 
anyway i hope you gave you a little bit of motivation and i have dry cotton mouth now but mm. side note right before i recorded this very long clip i oh that tastes like a jolly rancher and that is good um but right before i recorded this clip it was like i was like Ugh! I moved my computer back, I spilled my entire coffee all over my dining table, and my planner like flew across the floor. Everything just like exploded all over the table. So that happened right before this clip. That's fun. All right, you guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog there for today because I went on a really long spiel and I don't wanna make this video too long, but I wanna leave you guys with that motivation because like I said, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. It's okay that you wake up on the wrong side of the bed. We all feel this. Again, leave it in the comments down below. What are your tips and tricks? Have you felt this before? Let everybody know that they're not alone because we are a widow tribe and we need to be here for each other and all of the things. Okay, mama's gonna drink her little drinky drink here and I am going to kick some butt. Hope you guys kick some butt as well. I'll see you in a couple days for another really fun video and it should be a clean with me because I'm going to be recording all of that fish stank that I am cleaning in the background. So, okay. See you guys in a couple of days. Bye.